Hey YouTube, what's up and welcome back. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, we are going to learn how to do a simple isometric drawing. You can do it using manual means. You can do it using AutoCAD or any other drafting program. All right, as always, if you learn anything, please leave a like, please subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to begin with a cross. Right, this is how we begin all isometric drawings with a cross. It doesn't matter the length of the lines or anything. If you find me sounding a bit congested, it's because I am. I'm quite ill at the moment, but I'm trying to make the most of it. So we have our cross and you can see that it is indeed a cross. It's a 90 degree angle between them. And I'm going to be using the isoplane or the iso draft command a lot in this video. So first off, we are going to start with some 30 degree lines and the length of the line to the right is 50, as you would have seen in the opening video or the opening scenes of the video. So we have 50 and we have 30 and these lines are drawn at 30 degree angles, all right? That's always the angle that you use in, auto, in isometrics. So we are inserting our height now, our height is 40 millimeters and it's the same height all around. So I'm just going to copy this line to the other two points that we have established thus far. Right, so I've switched to isoplane left at this point and I'm just copying the lines. So what we are doing is we are just filling out what would be a cuboid and the cuboid takes the outer shape of the object, whatever it is. Once you have established the cube or cuboid, you can then go ahead and fill in the missing pieces or cut out whatever needs to be cut out you know there may be holes or indentations stuff like that please excuse my sniffling i am <laughs> having a tough time uh, making this video right now but some some persons are waiting on this video so i am trying to get it done as quickly as possible Right, so we have established our outer cuboid and we are just inserting some minor details. Again, this isometric block is very simple. On this said channel, you would have seen me do some uh, significantly more difficult isometric drawings already. So this is quite simple by comparison. There are no curves or anything like that. And we are coming down with our depth here. It's a depth of 20. You're coming across with 10 millimeters and coming back up with 20. Now at this point, the isometric block is almost finished. It's, it's literally almost finished. Um, we just have a couple missing lines to insert, like this one showing the channel running down the center. And there's another line for the back. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do soon is I'm going to change the layer of the line that I'm drawing with. 
normally I would select the lines and change the layers of the lines that I've already drawn. But today, I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to draw over the lines in a different layer, right? Just so that you can see the outline. And I have sped up the video. It's times five. All right. And I'm just drawing over lines that we have drawn already in my outer layer All right sorry ex excuse my sniffling please <laughs> please um yeah so this is what it looks like this is what it looks like this is just showing you the 30 degrees but this is the finished product um again very simple and um in the future I will do some more drawings and I just took off the construction line layer just to show what the isometric block looks like without the construction lines. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.